Ombudsman's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only, I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? All right, get to the point. But keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, if you can get them from his pocket back into mine, where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? All right, I reckon I can manage that. How much coin are we talking about? Everything he has on him. Half is yours. Hmm. It all sounds a bit fishy. Well, take it or leave it. But if you get my money back from Pazdor of the Guard, I'm sure I can put some more work your way. I'm glad to see you. Here's your groschen. I followed you for a while and I didn't see you rob no one. But suit yourself. Coin is coin. I'll give you some of the groschen back, like I promised. And I've got another job for you. What's this other job, then? Everywhere you go here, you see wretches like me. Poor souls that don't have a pot to piss in and have to beg. Then take a look and rat eye at all the gentle folk with their noses in the air. Looking out only for themselves, with not a moment's thought for the poor. Well, from one fine lady, you could get arms to feed the whole lot of us here. Arms for everyone? <laughs> that would be quite a purse. But I'll see what I can do. That's the spirit. In return, I'll teach you something useful, and you'll get a share too, of course. Here's the coin you wanted. Good. Keep after your effort. Interested in another job? You mentioned another job. I'm all ears. Aye. There's a good widow living in squalor with us in the town. She sold the last memento she had of her sainted mother to a moneylender so she could feed her young ones. And now she's so torn with her dress she can't sleep nights. You want me to get this memento back? Just so. i do it myself. Only I can't show my face in the town square without the catchpoles kicking my arse. Steal her ring back from that used girl, Wolf from Pruda. You can pick your own reward while you're at it. She's so rich it ain't decent. I'll be right back. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's talk about the price. Well, we can try it. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. Would you happen to have any work for me? Of course I would. And, surprise, surprise, it's another ring. Like last time. Properly done this time. Proper hard work. And who else to set the task to than you? The ring leader, so to speak. The thing is, one of the rich townsmen left his ring behind the last time he went to the baths for some wenching. Too drunk to see it, no doubt. And now he wants it back, and the baths deny all knowledge. Why not turn to the bailiff? 
Why not? Because he doesn't want anyone to know about his bathhouse visits. And the girls in the baths are wary of selling the ring in case the bailiff does start looking for it after all. So we'll make life easier for them. What do you say? Consider it done. Provided I get something out of it. Don't worry. You won't be left short. The ring's hidden in the chest in the bathhouse madam's chambers. Come right back with it once you have it. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I hope I can be of help to you, knight. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though, and set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces, if indeed time is of the essence. Here are your groschen. Then we may as well start. did break his vow, but better than to dishonor it here. May he follow his heart. Wake up, lad. It's time we were getting on. So, let's see you read a bit. There's a book here on the table. Try to read it. Will I manage? You ought to be able to. It's a simple text. Come back once you've worked your way through it. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? There was something about some fellow and a goose. Ah, well, the main thing is you've managed to read the book. The rest is just practice. Only through a careful reading will you uncover the real meaning of the text. No book is written on a mere whim and without purpose. Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read then? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. 
Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. <laughs> you're a clever lad. You'll manage... I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule, what's written there? Uh, nullus est liber tam malus, uh, ut non uh, liquor parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Excellent. Well, there's nothing more I can teach you. Congratulations. You can go and be ordained right away. Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. Do you have any work that needs doing? My dear lad, I have more worries than I can bear. Another pair of shoulders would ease my burden. I have to deal with a local witch. A witch? The herb woman, old Gertrude. That devious hag who will stoop to anything. Like all herbalists, for that matter. Oh, don't tell me. The cows are giving blood instead of milk, and babies are being born with two heads and a tail. This is no laughing matter. Gertrude isn't evil. She just has peculiar ideas about what's good for people. A little bird told me she incited some Ujets women to witchery. What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see her and find out what she's been up to. I know she lives in fear of the Holy Church, so tell her I sent you. That will make her talk and think twice about encouraging witchcraft. If you learn that she truly did involve folk in some foolishness, find out all you can and deal with it. Consider it done. Good. And never fear. I'm a man who always pays his debts. You'll find Gertrude, the old herb woman, in the woods.
I've come from the priest. They're saying you incited some women to witchcraft. Me? Witchcraft? That's nothing but idle chatter. Speak up, you old hag, or I'll wring your neck. Easy now, lad. Do you really mean to threaten an old woman like me? But, very well. I'll tell you all I know. I've done a very foolish thing. It's preying on my mind so much I can't sleep a wink. But I'm supposed to believe an old witch has pangs of conscience. Laugh if you like, but it's not a word of a lie. You probably know I sell various magic lotions and potions alongside my herbs. Well, there's one I wish I hadn't sold. You see, Vera, Zlata, and Kuta from Ujits wanted a magic ointment from me. I kept refusing them, but in the end, I let them talk me into it. What kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a world no one else can see. A place of wonder and terror. The flowers might start talking to you, or the earth could swallow you up. I don't know if it's the work of the devil or of God himself, but the ointment has that power. But it could poison any person who doesn't know how to use it right. So all this talk of witches anointing themselves and then flying to their sabbaths on broomsticks. The ointment could make a person see such things. But it was stupid of me letting those foolish women get their hands on it. They could poison themselves or fall off a cliff while they're lost in a dream. Will you give me the ointment recipe? It contains belladonna and the herb Paris, both quite poisonous plants. That ought to make you think twice about dabbling with it. So why did you give them the ointment at all? Because I'm soft-hearted. You see, one of those women, Vera, lost her whole family in Skalix. And Zlata's husband was killed. And the youngest of them, Kuta, miscarried with the horror of it all. They said they wanted to use the ointment to speak with the dead and ask them to put a word in with the Lord. Yeah. I understand how they feel. But I reckon it'll get them nowhere but the ducking stool and the stake. Judge not, lest ye be judged. I didn't want to give them the ointment, but they offered me a pile of groschen. So I thought how desperate they must be, and I heard their plea. Their plea, or the clink of their coin? What did they want the ointment for? Each one of them lost a loved one recently, and it's grieving them. They wanted to talk with the dead. I've heard enough. If you've heard enough, you must understand why I need your help. Find out from those women what they intend, and watch over them to keep them safe. Very well. But only because the priest himself asked me to. Thank you a thousandfold. I'll go to the Reverend myself and explain. You take care of those women.
Hey! Stop! Hey. Surrender! You've committed a violation. You're, You're under arrest. You call that bluff, All right, enough. I've had enough of your shit. When I said clear off, I meant right now. You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That will land you a fat fine. Enough. What impertinence is this? Do you really want me to lose my temper? But I was just... You... You misunderstood me. Sorry. You can go. I heard something about a magic ointment that you got from the herb woman. You heard that where? And what business is it of yours? The herb woman sent me. Gertrude? What does she want? Haven't we paid her enough? She'd like to know just what you're planning to do with her. She's worried about you. What made her change her tune? You can tell her we plan to do exactly what we agreed, and not to worry. something you need. You're the young fellow who came here from Skelet's half dead, aren't you? Yes, that'll be me. Why? The lady of the castle was asking after you. She wants to talk to you. Ah, I'll go and see her then. Thank you. Very well. Don't make her wait. Uh, don't you start. God save. Can I help you with anything? I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. It's true. I need something from you. How can I help? My cousin, young Sophie, is going to be wed. It will be an entry into a new life, and I want everything to be perfect for her. I'm looking for a few things to give her as a gift, and you're going to find them for me. My lady, but why me? <sighs> Normally I'd let the Chamberlain take care of it, but... He doesn't have any taste. I can't trust him with this. And I've been told no task is too challenging for you. Is that not true? It will be my honor, my lady. I need you to pick up an ornamental crown from Sasau for Sophie, wine from a merchant in Ratai, and a roan from the stable in Ujits. And the ornamental crown? I had the engravers in Sassau make it, but now they've written to say it will take a while longer. That just won't do. The wedding is almost upon us, and I need it. Go and see Master Jeronim Slesky and pick it up. Who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? From Conrad Hagen in Ratai. He's the only person in the whole region who can supply a genuinely good wine. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Here you go. That should be enough. You said uh, a roan from Ujits. Precisely. It's a beautiful animal. Wait till you see it. Dietrich said he'd ride it here himself, but I can already imagine how he'll end up killing himself on that horse. But you, so young and vigorous. Wine, a roan, and a crown. I can handle that. Thank you, Henry. I just wish there were others here I could trust so well. Oh, damn it, I'm hungry. What is this? Oh, damn it, I'm hungry.
magad, vagy kinyit, most megkapod! Hey, hey, te csak utázol, mi? Mm. 